Jessica Chabon. Hello, hello, Leon. Jessica, hello. Welcome. Who's <laughs> watching? Something is in my eye. Mm. Just let me get this. Get this together. Mm. You see my volume? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Salut Jessica, comment vas-tu? How's your day, Leandra? How are you doing? Okay. Hmm. Bien. Bonjour, bien. Je me porte bien. Merci. <laughs> Merci. Je suis contente de te voir. How are you doing? <laughs> What's... Hello, Sharon. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Invite your friends. Leandro, invite your friends to come. You're doing great. That's nice. <laughs> Wonderful, girl. You go, girl. Good to know. How are you doing, Sister Sharon? How are you doing? Okay. Just waiting a few minutes to let the others come in a little, give them a little time to come by. Just, and then we will start. Okay. Okay. Hello, Carol. Welcome, Carol. How you doing? Are oh, you doing wonderful, Sister Sharon? Yes, that's good to know. I'm good, I'm doing good. Had a long day, but it was really, really, really good. <laughs> really, really, really good, I must say. And thank God for that. And thank God for all of you who are here now. It means that you're still alive and well and can um, conduct changes, isn't it? <laughs> yes, as long as there is life, there is hope, isn't it? Yes. Tonight's topic. Tonight's topic is about a belief, how beliefs can limit you, how your beliefs can be a resource or how it can be, um, how it can be limiting to you, to your life. How beliefs change lives. Miss Lee Cherry, welcome. Thanks for being here. <laughs> That's tonight's topic. 
is your is your are your beliefs uh, resourcing or is it limiting? Are they limiting? Hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> we well, with pleasure, <laughs> Sister Sharon. <laughs> with pleasure. Yes. So we will get started, though. It's five past seven, so we will get started. Uh, you know, something in my, some kind of thing in my eye. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. So I hope um, everybody. I hope that everybody had a wonderful day and the Andrea told me she's great. Sister Sharon told me she's okay and all. So um, tonight's topic. I myself, I had a good day. I had a good day, and um, we are continuing tonight with what we started last Wednesday, which uh, I see that it has a very wonderful impact and i praise god that we can all be here to share together and to um, you know to progress together we are all uh, we are all we are all here for on a mission of glory and the best way to do it is to do it together if god wanted only one person on the he, he he would have left Adam alone in the garden. <laughs> so we're here to help each other and to sustain each other and to assist each other indeed. So um okay, so you know you know already, like we said the last time, um the topic was um from pain to purse and we are continuing. Hello, Sarah Likar, welcome. And tonight we are we are continuing with this topic uh, from pain to purse, and, and just going over it quickly that uh, life experiences that we have can really change the, 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 the our way, can change our behaviors, can change our beliefs, and um, the, the life experience, although they are there to teach us, to bring us to a higher place in life. Many times what happens is that uh, the life experiences are so uh, uh, dramatic that uh, it can leave us in a place of hurt and for the rest of our lives we can be hurting and what all this causes uh, sicknesses and depression and all this. So this is why uh, I am thanking Brother Silburn who just came in. Welcome, Brother Silburn. Or maybe he was already there. I didn't see him. <laughs> okay. Hi, Brother Silburn. So, um, life experiences can leave us bitter and, and sad, and all this causes sicknesses. All these, this is why people are so sick. This is why depression exists in certain people's in in the lives of certain uh, persons. Oh, uh, I'm mixing French and English. Did you see that? <laughs> okay, that's how it is when you speak different languages. <laughs> so, yes, so, yeah, and I'm just here to say that uh, you, don't, you don't have to remain in that place of pain, that you can really be the pearl that you came on earth to be. You can really be that person who you are from within, and you don't have... Yes, blessings, Brother Silburn. And you don't have to remain, you don't have to um, go through the rest of your life in pains, whether it's physical pain or emotional pains. And because uh, knowing that, we said it last week, that uh, pains are really caused by emotions which were not dealt with. Pains, diseases. All the things that we are going through were really caused, are really being caused by emotions that we have not dealt with. The, 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 the way of being very angry or being sad, falling into depression and getting all sorts of sicknesses. We can go past through that. Okay? So tonight's topic, as I said, and I'm thanking God that uh, we have... 
Blessings to you, Brother Silver, and I'm thanking God for this platform. I'm really thanking all those who are there. Jessica is an is a, a French lady. Uh, I know her mom very well, Jessica. Uh, she's a French lady, so I hope that she will be able to follow up with us, Jessica. <laughs> okay, so let's go into it. So as I was saying, I'm going right through into it that all of all our process of changes are built upon our beliefs. Everything. Okay, yes, Jessica, yes. <laughs> So all our beliefs, all our all our other changes that we are going through, no matter what changes you are going through, I'm stepping away from the camera. I don't want to be too too close from it, you know. So all our changes, all the changes that we are going through in life, they are basically built upon our beliefs, what we believe to be true. Our lives are. Are, are, are built upon beliefs from the time we came on this earth in the body uh, we have been uh, receiving education we have been educated we have been instructed and from these instructions we built beliefs now many of these beliefs are either limiting which means that it is not serving you in a positive way so it is uh, limiting and many of these beliefs may be resourcing which means that it is allowing you to, to, to build your life in the way that you would love it to be but what happens is that many times we often use the limiting beliefs unconsciously we use the, un we we use the limiting beliefs and we don't realize that we're doing that okay so consciously or preconsciously, uh, pre conscious or preconscious assertions about what we think or believe to be true. That's what be that's what a belief is. Okay, what we believe, assertions that we believe to be true. Okay, and generalizations when we generalize about what is perceived, what we see. Okay, what we see. We don't always have all the information because our eyes, our human eyes can only see what is within its reach, you see? But, um, and these are, uh, 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 our beliefs are built upon that also, okay? Um, our beliefs are built on the causes, what happened in our lives. Our beliefs are built on consequences and our beliefs are also built on meaning, the meaning that you give to the things which happens in your life. So it can be about your environment, people in your environment. It can be about behaviors, others' behaviors or your behavior. Okay, it can be about capacities. A lot of people believe that they can't do it. Uh, okay, this happened to me, but I, I can't do it. I can't change. I can't stop myself from doing this, you know. I just can't help it. You understand? So uh, these are beliefs that we have. Uh, because we believe in the things. We believe the stories that we say to ourselves. We, you know, we, 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 we say a lot of, we, we say a lot of stories. Ange Michel Perrin, uh, welcome. We say a lot of stories to ourselves, you know. We, uh, I forget the word, but we say a lot of stories to ourselves and we really believe it. We really think what we're saying is true. So it is good that to examine the beliefs and to know that whether it's something that really happened for true or if it's a, a, a belief that I built because of something which happened to me. You understand? I hope you're getting this. Okay? Everyone has beliefs. All of us. We can't live without it. <laughs> That's, uh, we are built like that. Okay? So, so as I said, some are resources and some are limiting for our actions or our experiences. So all our experience and our actions are based on what we believe to be true. Okay? When I used to believe that um, I'm not a beautiful person, well, I had behaviors which which uh, which went which were um, this belief were impacting really my behavior 
and the behaviors can really be out of line when you believe that you 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 you're not good enough as i said last year last week sorry <laughs> you're not good enough you're not this i can't do that i don't have the capacity to do that i am not you know okay okay yes uh, welcome uh, sister leonita welcome sister leonita how are you <laughs> so whatever happened in the past if we believe that this that whatever belief we built yes we built upon these experiences that we had in the past i will show you how it is impacting you it is impacting your present actually uh, uh, your present life and it is putting you in a state it is really hello girl welcome queen <laughs> It is really uh, causing you to behave in manners which are not uh, constructive to your life if it is limiting you understand so this is this is how it goes so the beliefs which has the strongest influence on someone are those that 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 relate to our identity which means that when I say identity when we say oh I am this, I am poor, I am sick, I am I am broke, <laughs> you know, or I oh I am a beautiful woman, I am a beautiful, I am a handsome man, I am capable of doing this, I have the strength, I can do it. I am. All the words that we say I am, it's relatively it's it is related to our identity and it is also built on our beliefs. Or also on the on our abilities and identity um, um let me just make something here identity is really the love you have for yourself identity is built on love for the self which is global and abilities are are the rules we set rules and regulations for ourselves according to our beliefs okay you say no i am not doing this i am i will not do that i i am not like that uh, you understand or i will do this i will do that that's how i see it that's how i believe it to be many times we say that we say that that's, that's what i believe that's what i believe so our beliefs impact our lives okay so the rules we set for ourselves like if i do this i will accomplish that if i go to school I will have the ability to help somebody if i if i if i if, i don't know whatever you may be um you, whatever rules and regulations that you have set for your own self it is also built upon your belief so the adoption basically the adoption of a belief may uh, come through a reaction to one experience maybe you just had one maybe what is going on in your life your that belief that you have may have been built upon one experience but that one experience that one experience was so sufficiently strong was so strong that in, it impacted your life maybe positively but maybe negatively also okay it, it is uh, it is it's good that we it is necessary that we understand that okay or it may have come through repetitive experiences which is producing an accumulative effect which means that many times we develop habits we develop habits and we develop habits that we would really like to we would really love to get rid of these habits but what happens is that those habits are formed upon uh, what you believe to be true and unconsciously what is happening is that you know your mind your brains are like it's like a a, 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 a recorder a tape a, a, a tape recorder a radio recorder i don't know how you call it <laughs> okay and what happens is that when you have put in a program when you put a program and you say okay that that program has gone through the conscious mind and it is now in the subconscious mind which means that you know in the main part of the brain it, it will what happens is that every time it will just come you don't need to call it anymore because it has been recorded so whenever you need it it's there you see and that is how we get caught up in our beliefs we get caught up in our habits 
and it's like a spider web you don't know how to get out of it you understand and you, we get so caught up in it that we can't access we do not know how to access anymore our resources but the resources are there you know and that's what i'm here to tell you that you have the resources it's not like somebody has to come and give you the resources you do have it the only thing is that you have built by your experiences yes <laughs> carol <laughs> The, your experiences you have had, uh, maybe the experiences that you have had has been so strong, has um, uh, caused you to have so many uh, uh, strong emotions and has wounded you also emotionally that you can't access your resources. But the resources, whatever you need to do to change, it's there. Okay? So that, 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 that's, that's really good news, don't you think? <laughs> don't you think that's good news? <laughs> because your brain, you see, your subconscious mind, it has recorded all the things that, that you have. Yes. It, the, your subconscious mind is like a, 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 a sea of resources. And whatever you will ask it to do, it will do. You just have to be consistent on it. You just have to be constant, you know, always doing it, persevering, and patience too. <laughs> okay, so some when you say like parents, I, I always like to take parents, children. If you repeat to your child, like, okay, the child is always, um, the child is trying to get your attention. And you see, uh, uh, the child does things, whatever the child thinks is the same thing again. Whatever the child think, um, believes to be true, to get your attention, um, to be good, he will do it to get your attention. And many times you say to the children, but you, you, you are, that, this child is, is misbehaving, this child is bad, this child is, you, you are a bad child, you, 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 you are miserable, you are this, you are that. And you know, you repeat that to the child, you repeat that to that person. You repeat that to that person or you are a woman and your man always you know uh, 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 give you that low don't talk you know that uh, to this which destroy your or your your your, your inner self which destroy your your self-confidence like uh, you're not worth it you you're not worth it you you uh, you're not good enough you should you know repeating these things when you have those those type of words being repeated to you what happens is that you are accumulating, you are accumulating the, the effects that it, it, ha it is having upon you. And day after day, you know what? You start to believe that it's true. I was watching a show not long ago on uh, Britain Got, Star Got Talent. And this lady, she was about, you know, almost 40 years. And they asked her, why did you wait so long? to come out there and show your talent. She said that she was with a man who was making her feel so low, who was low rating her so much that she started believing him. You see, she started believing the things that he was saying that he was saying, you're too old to do that. You already have children. What are you going to do that for? Why, why, why? You don't need that. And she was just Hi, Shanet. And she started believing it. And she believed it for so long, over 10 years. She believed it. And when she finally got to herself, she came on that show. And that lady sung uh, 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 such high. <laughs> she sung so well. And she was crying because she realized that she wasted her time believing that person who was rating her. You see, that is why it is important to watch over your beliefs. Thank you, love. <laughs> that is why it is important to watch over what am I believing? What is causing me to have these behaviors? This, this, and many times it could be very dangerous, the behaviors that we have, because of the beliefs. Because when you start believing things, you start to think that you are, you, you are a certain way. But if it is... Um, good beliefs, if it is resourcing, what it will do, it will bring out the light in you because we are really beings of light 
I don't know if you know that your neurons, you know, your neurons are connected in your body and all of it is like little electrical lights in your body. We really are beings of light and you see when somebody is feeling good and thing, you see that person like, that person like is shining, you say, no, 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 oh girl, what happened to you? You really shining and you really looking beautiful like Chanel just said to me. <laughs> you know, you say, you say, oh, my cat is trying to open the door. So, <laughs> so you say, wow, that, that girl got something. She went a lot to her, what? That woman, that man, what, eh, eh, what happened to her? Well, what happened is that, <laughs> yes, it's because that person is starting to, um, this person is really uh, plunging, diving into the resources to find to, to, to build their life instead of believing um, all what people are saying about them or what people said about them instead of believing that this person is starting to believe that they have the capacity to do it they have the, the, the right to be here they have the, 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 they have the um, what it takes to be and to do and to have whatever they want to have and they stop believing that uh, people, they stop letting people, people's belief to dictate their lives. Because many times what happens is that we let what people believe about us to dictate our lives. Or oh, the person is not in your head. You're the only one in your head. And that is why I say we got to step out of our head. Hello, Paul. Welcome. Step out of our heads and get and step into our lives. Like Jesus said to the, to the man, take your bed. He was lying down there so long because he believed that he couldn't do it. His beliefs. Hi, Alan Simon. Welcome. Hello, uh, Joy Crack. Welcome. And his beliefs, his beliefs kept him lying down there. For years, because he believed that he couldn't do it. And Jesus just came and said, look man, take your bed, get up. Take your bed and get up and go. And that was enough to motivate him, give him uh, 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 the courage that he needed. And when Jesus said it, because Jesus said it with authority, with authority, he did it. He believed at that instant that he could do it. And that is, that is how beliefs can affect your life. Every belief you have is creating your life. Every one of them, especially the ones that you dwell upon, they are, they are uh, 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 impacting your life in some way. And it is, it is good, it is necessary that we, we watch over these thoughts. That is why the Bible says, watch over your thoughts. Watch over your thoughts because out of them, out of your thoughts, come and will spring out the issues of life. Watch over your thoughts. Don't let what people say uh, uh, dictate your life. Don't let what people do dictate your life. Don't let what people, what has happened to you in the past control your life in such a way that you can't live happily. Being always angry, being always sad, always believing that oh things will not get better, always believing that the world the, the world is going down. No, we you have to cater, look inside of you and go to your resources, the kingdom of God which is inside of you. That's why you have to dive in to find your resources. That's where it lies, not what people say about you that makes your life the way it is, it is what you saying about yourself which is impacting actually your life, what you saying there what you believe in to be true, so you have to watch over your thoughts, so this is how, and sometimes our thoughts are so rigid, which means that mm, that's what I believe and nobody cannot make me change that, well that's up to you, that's your responsibility but it is necessary sometimes to take a look at the thoughts that we are having and see if it needs some, you know, fixing, like a plant which is going on a sign. <laughs> you got to put a stick for it, to, eh? put it, get it straight, follow the arrow, like we say. You understand? So, basically, how thoughts are, are how we, how we um, 
form our rigid beliefs which gives us rigid behaviors which means that behaviors like which is difficult to change let me just share with you a little how it is um, how it is how they are built like the first time okay say that you went through something like i don't know incest or divorce or you go through a difficult experience or maybe a good experience also maybe you so the first time what happened but today i'm talking about rigid uh, uh, emotions rigid beliefs so the first time that you went for um, through it in the past what happened you had a strong emotional it gave you a strong emotional experience which is whatever you saw whatever you heard whatever you smell or touch or whatever touched you physically or emotionally so you had a strong emotional experience that first time and then what happened you started to evaluate evaluated the situation and you came to a conclusion when you came to that conclusion you decided you started deciding uh, how will you uh, what behavior will you adopt and i mean this is something that goes by very very quickly you understand and when you decide when you start to say okay what behavior will what, what, what will i do how will i i i, I uh, 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 you know uh, behave then you adopt this behavior now in the present this is how we get caught in the spider web you know in the present what this will do is that when you come across a, 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 a similar experience it will reactivate that emotion you see and generally it happens unconsciously it's like you have a you got hooked with that uh, uh, emotional experience that strong emotional experience so it will reactivate that emotion that you felt and then it also reactivate the first conclusion that you had you understand and that's where the belief is formed that's where you form the belief okay and then according to that to that uh, to that conclusion which you came you will then put for yourself you will then elaborate for yourself rules and conduct and these are the rules and conduct which uh, uh, which uh, your behaviors will emerge from these rules and conduct so so that is how we see that hello uh, selwyn hi welcome so this is how uh, uh, we get caught in our behaviors in our habits that we want to live but we can't understand why it looks like we are trapped <laughs> yes jamal welcome and this is how we we feel like we are trapped in 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 some sort of you know in this behavior because it what of what happened in the past because of the meaning that we gave it in the past it's impacting our present life and what will happen in the future is that there will be a potential reactivation which means a similar similar emotion the similar emotion because you are anchored at this time and then the same thing will continue to happen the reactivation of the conclusion and the rules and conduct that you set that day and that's how people go on years and years and years in the same with the same habits with the same way of with the same behaviors and having difficulties to get out of it okay so that is how we build our belief and once one has adopted a belief they tend to perpetuate it you understand that's how we perpetuate our um, uh, 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 disbelief how do we do that by filtering or distorting what does not fit with it you see that's why people say oh uh, well, that's how i am what you want me to do that that's how it is eh? that's how life is that's the reality of life uh, you see <laughs> and and whatever somebody may want to say about that thing you will be on defensive you will be <laughs> yes you will be you will be on the defensive even unconsciously you may be aggressive because you you feel like this person is touching something that uh, is important to you you understand so you 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 may get really aggressive at that time uh, or, or you understand because 
it shapes what happens is that that belief hello and i are welcome so that belief will shape your thoughts it shapes your decisions all the decisions that you will take will uh, will will be impacted by this belief it shapes your feelings it shapes your actions and it shapes your behaviors and that is why it is important that we watch over it and it also determines the meaning of what you believe is true what you believe is good and what you believe is important and here's the thing the bible states that whatever a man soweth that he shall also reap you have never seen a mango tree bearing bananas now that's the two things i love eh? i love mangoes and i love bananas <laughs> so you will never find mangoes on a banana tree and you will never find banana on a mango tree if you plant a mango tree it will bear mangoes for you if you plant hello love if you plant a, 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 a mango tree it will bear mangoes for you okay so whatever what does this mean it means that whatever you've been doing or is doing actually or whatever you've been saying or you're saying actually will always come back to you the bible said throw your bread upon the water and it will come back to you so which means that you have to be careful how you send your bread on the water the way you send it that's how it will come back and from whence do you send it from where you are sending it from there that's where you create your life that's where you're creating your life and your brain will not ask you um jacqueline you think what you're thinking there is, 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 is what you're asking me there is good or bad you the one deciding that and when you give your brain hello thea welcome when you give your brain a command it executes it does what you ask it so if you asking your brain to believe that this thing is true that's what it will believe and that's why many times our prayers we, we have the impression that our prayers are not being answered, but our beliefs are preventing our prayers from being answered. And this is important. And when I'm talking about prayer, I'm not talking about only when you go to your knees or you go to your church or whatever. Every word which comes out of your mouth is a prayer. Okay? <laughs> okay. So whatever you give out, that also you shall receive so if you give hate if you're giving hate you will receive hate okay if you give love you will receive love or the way you give love that's how you will receive it if you give criticism that's what you will receive people will criticize you even if they don't know you that even if even when somebody don't know you that person will give you critic because uh, that person will criticize you because that was you've been sowing what are you sowing in there what are you painting what are the colors of your painting you have to watch over that if you lie you will be lied to if you if you unfair with others you will be betrayed <laughs> So you come any, but, but the good news is that, <laughs> the good news is that you came here with a suitcase of resources which cannot be exhausted. And that suitcase, that suitcase of, resource, of resources, that's your imagination. That's why I love children so much. <laughs> Children has the wildest imagination. And when you were a child, when I was a child, we used to imagine things. So when I grow up, I'll do this, I'll do that. I'll be like this, I'll be like that. And I'll, I'll, live, in a, I'll live in a castle, and I'll be a police, and I'll be this. And, and when we start growing, um, you know, getting to be an adult, uh, uh, we start going through life experiences which are there to shape us what we do we stop we stop imagining the nice things and we start imagining horrors <laughs> we start imagining we start saying oh life is not uh, you know in Creole we say uh, la vie c'est pas un bol soup <laughs> oh life is difficult people are wicked 
people are this, the world is. <laughs> you know, we say these sort of things. We say people are wicked, people are, uh, 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 life is difficult. We say so many things about life and we are not realizing that indeed we, because we believe in these things, we are experiencing them. Because that's what we're asking for, that's what we're sowing. If you sow in it to your brains, that's what you want to life, that's what you're asking for, so it will give it to you and it will give you a lot. <laughs> That's the thing. So that resource that you have, which is your brain, that, 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 that your, your, your imagination, you have to retrain it, train it, train it to give you what you want. We have been training many times, 99% of the time, we are training our imagination to give us what we don't want. Death and life is in the power of the tongue, isn't it? <laughs> Indeed. So we have to train our imagination because you see, your imagination is, is, is the main key, is the ability to imagine. And the Bible said, keep your heart and imagination with diligence for out, it, for out of it springs the issues of life. This is something really, really deep and important. Keep your heart, which is your imagination, with all diligence. For out of it springs the issues of life. Eh? And whose life? Your life. The issues of your life are coming straight from your imagination. Whatever a man believes to be possible for him, it is possible. Whether it's good, whether it's bad. Okay? Whether it's good, whether it's good, whether it's bad, if you think it is possible, it's possible. You know, many people have died because of their vain imagination. And the Bible says it. We, with our vain imagination, we bring destruction into our lives. Because of our beliefs, what we believe to be true. If you believe it to be true, no one will come and tell you it's not true because you believe it. You are the one who have to take responsibility and start, you know, examining this belief that you have to see if it is limiting to you or if it is resourcing to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, what are, what are the issues which are springing, which are flowing out of your imagination right now? Huh? Reflect on that. What are the issues which are, what, what is your state of life actually? And what can you do to change it? <laughs> it's about belief. Yes, it is. It's about belief. Yes, it is. So what are the, what is going on right now in your imagination? How is your life? What does your life look like? Are you satisfied with the life that you're living now? Are you ready to uh, 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 examine your beliefs, these things that you are believing? Maybe you've been believing it for 20, 30, 40 years and you are caught up in this spider web. What are you, are you satisfied in this spider web, what can you do to change this belief? Hmm? Uh -huh. So, how can you cultivate your imagination? You cultivate it by exercising it. Because that's what you've been doing your whole life. <laughs> that's what you've been, that's what everyone is doing their whole life. We are exercising our imagination. But when you exercise it, you must exercise it in a way that it will build the life that you want for you. This is your responsibility. No one can do that for you. It must be fed. Your imagination must be fed. You must feed it. And you must feed it with, with thoughts of life. And when you start feeling it with force of life, it will grow, it will expand, you know. 
it will progress it will bring progress to your life it will bring progress to your life sorry but if you don't if you feed it with thoughts of death all the negative thoughts are thoughts of death if you feed it with thoughts of death it will die your imagination will die and that's why you see so many people they they, they just they say i don't know what to do with my life i i'm just there i i there <laughs> i there I don't know what to do. What, what, what I can do? What can I do? I, I can't do nothing. That's how life is. That's the reality of life. You see, the kernel mind, it sees only what it can see, which is death, poverty, sickness, you know, all the limit, limitation. That's what the kernel mind sees. If you want to see what you really are, who you really are, what life, what life, what uh, the truth, of life you have to look through the lenses of the divine which is in you you have to dive into you into the kingdom into the temple you have to dive in there and look at life with the lenses of the divine you have that in you it is in you how do you explain that so many people explore the, uh, the, the uh, I'm speaking French right there, explore <laughs> Okay, uh, people who has done great things, built all those big buildings, building those big, those, those type of, um, um, you know, a, a, how do you say that, the, 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 the airplanes that we travel on, these big boats, which can look at the, the, the size and the, 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 the weight of the boat and it can travel on the sea. How do they build this kind of, 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 of buildings? This, uh, uh, these architects which build those things. It is the imagination. They feed in the imagination with what they want. So it's being creative. And the more you do it, the more it will give you that. It's the same thing. The more you will think that you're not able, the more you will think that you cannot get out of the situation, the more you will remain in that state. The more you will remain in that state. Whatever you feed in it upon, that's what it eats. <laughs> you the you 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 the master of your brain. God gave you that. Okay? So, uh, sorry, so the imagination, let me see that, getting a little bit, uh, okay, it is called, the, 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 the imagination is called the chisel, the chisel of the mind. What it does, it is relentless at cutting day and night, even when you sleep in, it's going, 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 hmm? Day and night, the images that you see, what do you choose to see? What are you looking at right now? What are you looking at? What are you seeing right now? What are you seeing? What do you choose to see? It's a choice. What do you choose to see? What do you choose to paint in there? And whatever image you painting in there, sooner or later, you will see your inner, your inner actions materialized in the outer world. And that's why many times, as I said in my book, hello Tessa, welcome. That's why many times people say, oh, I didn't ask for that. I didn't ask for that kind of thing in my life. You are the one who are creating it. You have the power of the imagination. You use the power of your imagination to create your life. So if your life is in a way that you don't like it, take responsibility and decide to change it. Hello, Sabiana. Welcome. If your life is in a way that you don't, which is unpleasant to you, Use your imagination, your, 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 your power, use it, hello, use it to, 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 to change, to bring the change in your life. Because up to this day, you've been creating, maybe, maybe, you've been creating a life that you don't want. 
And the way you do it is through your imagination. I can remember when I first started reading about these things, studying about these things. I said, you think that's really true? You, you think people can really do that? I'm curious. I, I am really, I'm a curious person. <laughs> so I said, I, I will test it. I will test it. So I started saying, okay, if it can work like that, if, 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 they, if what they're saying is true, I, I have to test it. I want to test it. So what I did, I started, um, I wanted a car. You know, I had, I had a car and I had borrowed it to somebody and the person had scraped the car. So I didn't want it anymore. <laughs> so I wanted another car. And I, I say, if I, if really, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it big. So I said, I want a four by four. That's what I want. <laughs> No, I'm laughing because it's really good. I mean, it feels really, really good. And I really would love to see you experience it, to know that you're experiencing these things. This is, life can be really, really, really sweet, you know, really sweet. It depends how you imagine it. And I tell you, so I started imagining myself. I started saying, okay, what kind of car I want? Up to this day, I didn't know about cars. Or I, I just know I want, I just knew that I wanted a car. But then I started saying, okay, I will look on the road to see what car is pleasing to me. What vehicle, what vehicle I can, I'm speaking French at the same time, huh? <laughs> is, 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 is um, pleasing to me. And I started watching. And then I saw one and I started telling the children, my children, hey, that's my car. Look, look the car I want, look the car I want. And I started doing that, and I started to nourish, feed my imagination with that image of that car. I started going to garages. You see, when you want something, you have to put faith into action. Put faith into action. Don't say you don't have the money yet. Go and see the thing. Go and see where they have it. Go into that store. See, where, see where, the style that you want. See the color that you want. You know? Use your beliefs to do. Use your imagination. Get creative. You know, put faith in there. Go that place and see. Don't don't start thinking about you don't have the money. Don't start thinking about you don't have um, your health is not good enough. No, you have to see it. If you can see it in your spirit, you can have it. And that's how powerful your imagination is. So I start. I went into places where they were selling cars. And I saw the car. I start looking at it on the road. And every time, and then what, you know what happened? It became contagious. The children started saying, Mama, look your car, look your car, look your <laughs> But I didn't have it yet. So I started staying at my home and I started imagining myself. I started working my imagination. And I sat there and I closed my eyes and I saw myself holding that steering and putting my feet Hello, it is Kelly. Welcome, Terence, Renee. Welcome. So I started acting like I was in the car. I was at my home, you know, sitting on my chair and acting like as if I was in that car that I saw the same color. Though. You know what happened? Thank you, uh, Harry. Mary Polius, join us. Okay, Mary Polius. Oh, welcome. <laughs> Nice to have you. How nice to have you all. And what happened? I tell you, and that is why I love that car because that's the first man, uh, manifestation I did consciously. I want you to get that word: conscious manifestation. Conscious manifestation. Whatever you want in the world, it is already there. Whatever you want in this lifetime. It is already there. Whatever state you want to be in, it is already there. You have to use your imagination to get it. So I started imagining myself in that four by four, in that, you know, that four door car. And if I, you know, I like big cars <laughs> because I'm a tall woman, you see. So uh, I started imagining myself with that, in that car. I will tell you something, believe it or not. One month after, I got that car. And I'll tell you something again, which is again more powerful. I didn't pay for that car. I didn't have. Hello, Siriana, welcome. I got that car, that same car that I wanted. I got it. 
It was in good condition. It wasn't a new car, but it was in good condition. And I got it as a gift. Can you imagine that? Oh my God. <laughs> yes. Yes. And when I saw that, I said, Hey, Papa, if it works for the car, it can work for the for everything in my life. So there, I started training, exercising my imagination, start thinking. I said, okay, so it works. It works. I was so happy that it worked. And that car is still there. And I tell you, it's a, it's a blessed car. Because I manifested it consciously. I was conscious of what I want. I took steps for what I want. I didn't just say I want the car. I didn't think that. I didn't think of having the money. McCarthy, welcome. I didn't think of that. I didn't start saying to myself, oh, I don't have the money. Where will I get the money? I mean, I wasn't even a coach yet. I was working in Cain. And I had my three kids to take care of. <laughs> okay, and I was at school at the same time, so you can imagine I didn't have that much money. I just had enough to get by, but I didn't think of that, and that's what I am trying, that's what I want to, you know, get to you tonight, to understand that. Don't think, when you want something, don't think of the details. Get your imagination working for you. Change your beliefs. Change your belief. That belief we say, which may say that, uh, that belief which may come running to you and say, oh, but you don't even have money. You're not even working. You want that. Hmm? You're not even working. You don't even have education. You don't even, you're not this. You're not that. And you want this. You want that. God promises us to give us whatever our heart desires if we can just trust. Just trust. And that trust, you have to work it up. Work it up there. Train it. Train it. Train your mind. Train your brain. Train your body. To work with you and not against you. Get those neurons alive. Get them lighting up. Get it lighting up and you will see. Trust life. So if we keep seeing, yes, if we keep seeing life as something which is difficult, if we keep saying, if we keep believing that life is difficult, people are bad, the world is this, this and that, that's all you will get in your life. Oh, when you start taking a certain age, you will get sick. Who said that? Who said that? If you believe that, it will be your truth. And your imagination will give you that. You will start falling sick. But this is your truth. This is not the truth of life. Life is good to us. Your body is your friend. Your imagination is your best friend. So there, I got that car. I tell you, and from then on, I started manifesting more and more and more of what I want. I started imagining myself in the, you know, in big time courses where I get tools to help people go to France and things like that. And I can tell you, all this has happened. All this has happened. All these things have happened. You have to be clear about what you want so that you don't let the outside beliefs, the thing that people believe about you, or you don't let the uh, past experiences, all those beliefs that you have about the ex past experiences, you can get past them. You can't do that. Your imagination is waiting. It's waiting for you to build your ideal life. Your imagination. When we were kids, we used to imagine so many things. And today we're adults and we're rigid. Like it's, we, 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 we're so, like, uh, like you cannot change, you cannot, come on now, we can do this. You can, you really can. You can get past this thing. So, okay, so the three conditions which are required to bring changes in your beliefs are, the, are this. First of all, you, we, you got to have a deep desire for change. Come to the place where you have this deep desire for change because 
some, con sometimes consciously or unconsciously, the changes that we want may be rejected. It may be rejected by our beliefs. Okay? And because um, there are secondary benefits of the present state in which we are, like ex for example, some people, they, nobody li li likes to be sick, but some people, they will remain in that state of sickness because that's where they get attention from people when they're sick. So they don't want, they don't, they, they don't want to be sick, but they don't really want to change it. You understand? And a lot of us find ourselves in those, in, in this, in this, in this um, thing that we want to change, but um, there are secondary beliefs in the state in which we, um, secondary benefits, sorry, in the state which we are in. And so we choose to remain in that state. You see? So, uh, secondly, so you have to, you must uh, have this, the, you, you should have this deep desire for change. Secondly, knowing how to make a change. You should know how to make that change. This requires the knowledge of different strategies or techniques and also a clear perception of your desired state. Okay? Okay. The knowledge of different strategies because depends on what you've been through in life. You need to know the strategies and the techniques which will bring around a clear perception of your desired state and which will bring about the change. Thirdly, you give yourself the opportunity to change. Sometimes we don't give ourselves, we don't allow ourselves ourselves to change because we are caught up in all those beliefs. Give yourself the opportunity to change. Time, give yourself time to change. You don't change overnight. <laughs> you don't change overnight. Give your time, give yourself space to change. And space means that sometimes you have to let go of certain things. You have to let go of certain people. You have to let go of certain habits. Give your time, give yourself space. And give yourself a context. The context necessary to bring about the change. And that context is in there. You have to build that context in there. Which will allow the changes to come around. Yes. Okay. So give your time, yourself time, give yourself space, give yourself the context which are necessary. You see the lily, you always see the lily, that flower lily is blooming in the midst of the dirty water. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Wherever you are, you have to start creating it right there in the, with the imagination. So to get to your change and change your current life situation, your current life state, it is useful that we consider the rules and regulations and beliefs to detect if they are limiting or if they are resourcing. You have to uh, consider, reconsider reconsider the beliefs that you have about yourself reconsider the beliefs that you have about the environment reconsider the beliefs that uh, the rules and regulations that you put up for yourself reconsider them to have a good better relationship with your children to have a better relationship with yourself to have a better relationship with um, your environment to have a better relationship with life and all these stats by you. All this comes through you and all this comes to you. Okay? So we will only enter the kingdom of peace, harmony and joy if and when we purify our souls, our mind, our imagination of all false and limiting beliefs. That's when you will experience peace, harmony, and joy. And all that is within you. You have to search yourself. Search within you to find it. Because it's there. It's awaiting. Your ideal life, your ideal state awaits you. 
You can access it by re-educating your mind, re-educate your soul, and by creating a new condition, a new state of being, and a change of belief is required in that matter. Okay? So, I hope that, well, I really hope, I believe that you have gotten a few keys tonight to understand how the beliefs work, how it impacts your life, and that you have the ability to change it. Maybe today you don't have the techniques required, maybe you don't have the, 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 the you don't know yet the techniques required and the tools required, and that is why we are here at one accord so if you are interested in going further into the strategies because i had to use them strategies of changing your beliefs you can reach out to us to get assistance okay you can we will be happy to assist you in this i have created i am actually creating a group for all ladies who has had or is having to face trauma actually or who has been impacted hello abidal Brisco. Who, who, who is going through trauma or who has been through trauma and who is caught up steven in us welcome uh, i am creating this group creating this group so that um so whoever wants to find their so it's for those who wants to who really wants to access the healing if you really want if you are really interested in going further some of you have started there are people here that i i i have worked with and stuff and who has who has done i have seen things over these years and i say yes 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 to you i am happy for you okay so if you want to go further or if you want to start your healing process and going deep within it you can do that you can you will be able to join the group i will give you uh some numbers some tell some numbers yes <laughs> yes <Saviana. laughs> oh yes Saviana is uh I, I don't know how to call her because she she got uh she got that assistance and she really she went into it and she you know she 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 created she started using her imagination and her life changed i i i, I myself i was as astonished at, at the rate of which her life changed because uh, she went into it she didn't she didn't you know uh, doubt it she went into the process and and her life just <laughs> Her life just bloomed like a big light, you know. I'm very happy for her and other persons who are here, who are here, who really got into the process and got the healing. So it is possible. So if you want, uh, the number is right there. The numbers are right there uh, on the on the screen. The numbers are right there, so you you can you can uh, reach us if you want to reach me. If, if, or, or the other members who are with me yeah, you can contact us uh, through this number uh, plus it's on the screen so you can check it out after plus five nine six six nine six thirty nine twenty four nineteen or there is another number three four seven six seven five eight seven two nine it's right there on the screen and one uh um, three four seven sorry two two eight three zero zero eight welcome margarita Stephen. welcome so you see all is possible to whom who believes as long as uh you just send us a uh, a uh, 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 whatsapp you send your you send uh, your, your your message through whatsapp and we will be happy to assist you you don't have to remain in that situation as i said i could have chosen to remain in that in that situation because of the rape and the incest that i suffered but i made the choice 
to get up, to take my bed, to get up and take my bed and go. And you can do the same thing and you can even do more. You see? Okay? You can even do more. And in little time, you will see change, how the changes will operate in your life to bring about that, that, that ideal life that, that, that you want. It starts with you. You don't want to take responsibility for yourself, to take responsibility, and it comes from the in, you know, inside. Okay? So I'm thanking you for taking your time, your precious, precious time to come by and, and you know, and, and be with us tonight. And I was really happy to have you. And I'm really praying and believing that you can make it. I know you can right now. It is up to you to believe it and to start, start taking steps. Like I say, when you want something, start. don't think of the money or whatever. Start taking steps to do it. And life will come along with you. Your body will start coming along. You will start uh, getting out of the sicknesses, out of the rages, out of the anger, out of the, uh, 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 the, 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 the sadness, the depression, the anxiety, the panic attacks you are having, the, you know, the sleepless nights, uh, uh, this, this way of behaving uh, 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 with your spouse, or with, you know, all these things, bad behaviors, wanting to show off, all that. You understand? Jealousy, criticism, hatred. Yeah, you will get out of all this. Okay? So thank you so much. And hope I believe I will see you next Wednesday so that we can get more out of this. But for those who really want to go deeper into what I've shared tonight and last Wednesday, feel free to reach us and we'll be happy to assist you in a in in you know specifically for you we'll be happy to have a program just for you with you okay so thank you again thank you brother Sylvan, for that platform thank you for coming around everybody and i thank god for this opportunity once there is hope wherever there is life there is hope thank you everyone thank you my sisters Thank you, my brothers, for coming around. Thank you for assisting. Thank you for the encouragement. I am happy to have you. And I say to you, see you next time. Bye. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Good night, my love. Good night, Siliana. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Tia. Thank you, Brother Silver and Siriana. Those I'm seeing. Margarita, Stephen, uh, Siriana, Carol, uh, Sharon, Etienne, McCarthy, Sean, Edith Skelly, Tessa. Thank you. Thank you, Leonita, Carol, Thea, Anaya, my lovely cousin. Thank you, Joey. Selwyn, Alan, yes, okay, I'm just seeing if I saw everybody, Lee, Lee Cherry, thank you, uh, yes, Sharon, Leandra, Jessica, thank you so much for coming by, there was somebody Sharon told me was there, but I didn't know who uh, it was, I, I don't, I don't see her name anymore, I think, I'm looking for it anyway. Okay. Well, thank you, everybody, and see you next time. Bye-bye.